Yellowstone has the status of an active volcano. Tan turns out to be a huge area, the size of Chicago, moving Yellowstone National Park. The caldera doesn't just lift, it also moves up and down like a breathing motion. Does this mean another super eruption is imminent? Yellowstone's volcanic explosive index is 8 on a 10-point scale. This means that if this volcano erupts it will turn into an apocalypse. Let's look at scientists' predictions regarding the possibility of a Yellowstone eruption. The magma reservoir in the National Park has become sharper. This new focus of results does not indicate any new magma accumulation and also does not indicate that the magma is moving to the right. Guest columnists Ross McGuire and Brandon Schman create a new seismic tomography model using an advanced imaging approach that leverages supercomputers. Scientists a deeper look at the magma reservoir system in Yellowstone National Park Yellowstone seismic tomography is like a CT scan in medical imaging in that it allows us to make geological inferences from 3D variations in seismic wave velocity beneath the surface. This technique is usually applied to investigate magmatic systems because low-wave velocity anomalies can indicate areas of partial melting of the Earth's crust and mantle, but how much magma is below the surface, is it concentrated in melt-rich structures such as sails, horizontal table objects? Magma is widely distributed in a crystal mush, what are the implications for life? The cycle of volcanic eruptions in Yellowstone National Park has been attempted to be answered by many studies. These questions use high-resolution subsurface images developed using seismic tomography despite regional differences. Low-wave velocity studies at middle to upper crustal depths of 3 to 9 miles is thought to represent the Yellowstone silicate magma reservoir. Typically this anomaly is associated with a decrease in seismic wave velocity of less than 10% compared to the surrounding crust indicating that the magma reservoir consists of about 10% melt so most tomographic studies in Yellowstone are based on minimizing the difference between seismic wave velocities. to observe and predict the travel time of seismic waves using theory. This approach assumes that the travel time of a seismic wave is sensitive only to the speed of the wave along an infinitely narrow path connecting the source and receiver. However, in reality, seismic waves have a limited wavelength and are sensitive to the wave speed in the volume around their path compared to the narrow area. In addition, this method is less accurate in taking into account the subtle bending effects of seismic waves caused by low-wave velocity objects such as magma reservoirs. These features can mask the seismic signature of magma reservoirs, making it difficult to image accurately with this form of seismic tomography. Over the decades, seismologists have turned their attention to using more accurate seismic tomography methods. The physics of wave propagation in tomography is challenging because it usually requires computationally intensive methods to measure wave propagation accurately. Simulation of 3D wave propagation in a complex Earth model. One method to overcome this challenge is to carry out accurate synthetic seismogram simulations which enable the construction of tomographic models that are able to match each oscillation with the observed seismic waveform, in other words being able to make better use of the wealth of information contained therein. Seismic waves, because it. This technique is often called full wave tomography.